everybody! So today I have my laptop here and I'm going to be reacting as a dancer to a video called The, the Coolest Parts in K-Pop Dances, specifically boy groups. I can do another one for girl groups. I have to find a video, but I can do it. As a disclaimer, I am trained in classical ballet and modern contemporary and a little bit of tap and a little bit of jazz. If you don't know what those different kinds of dances are, you can go look them up. Me explaining it would be a whole separate video. Basically what I'm saying is dance as a technique I know a lot about. Dance as a performance I know a lot about. I understand that K-pop dancers and performers for the most part are trained in dance performance. I'm gonna leave it at that. There are some who are more technique based but generally it's performance based. I'd also like to add I have no hip-hop experience whatsoever. You want to see me attempting hip-hop? I've got a video for that. Also, all of you, supposedly, have seen my bad K-pop dance covers. You know the extent to which I can dance. So I'm being judgy, but I know full well that if someone asked me to do this, I would not be able to. That being said, let's begin the video. NCT Dream are so little. Um, that requires a lot of abs to just be able to pull everything in, but if they all work together, it shouldn't be that hard. It's like the leaning back and sitting on the chair. Uh, the reason I got into SF9 is because I saw this video and I was like, oh my goodness. But again, it's really, really impressive and it takes a lot of practice, but once you get it and everybody does their part, it becomes a whole lot simpler than it might look. It's still really cool though. This is just synchronization. It's so impressive when you have synchronization with a big group. I can't replicate that because I'm only one person, but it's so cool to watch on stage. That requires everybody to work. When you lift people up, I love it. I can never say anything bad about Shiny. <laughs> My name is Mito. I will always be impressed by popping because I just don't know how to do it. How do you, how do you? I can flow. I can do flowy things. How do you pop? This is just insane. This is just junk hook being too strong for the world. As the one who has been flipped around and then dropped in this sequence, because I've tried this before, it's a common move in swing dancing. Maybe not to this extent or like with this much swag, but it, it's common in swing and partnering dan partner dances, couple like do 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 ballroom, I guess, maybe is a better word for it and all of its extent. Anyway, I'm being dropped. This terrifies me. I was dropped <laughs> on my head and it hurt and it terrifies me but still impressive it takes a lot not only for the person holding but for the person going around that's there's a lot of effort there a lot of teamwork this is just a lot of practice and synchronization it's really impressive when you look at it that's a trick i love this one it looks so effortless that's so much practice that goes into that. This is just Russian dancing, basically. And that's a trick. I love this one! Oh, I need more people to love speed. I love this. He goes so high. Jazz hands. I love this one too. It really isn't that impressive. It just takes like a lot of people doing it at the same time. Because if you look at it, it's just stepping and then inner thigh strength. 
but they do it so well and all together that it's 17 terrifies me I don't know if you've seen them or heard them or like watched live stages but sometimes not all of them have earpieces in and they're always so in sync and with that big of a group it's so difficult like I'm not even talking about the singing but like the dancing so impressive just like the synchronization of it is just so impressive if you break down the moves they aren't as difficult all together. Except 9 again, I love them! I love this little robot thing that they do. I've done that. The stripey shirt, I don't know his name. I've been in that position. And getting down from that is no easy feat. It takes a lot of abs. This is just synchronization again. I will never say anything bad about Shiny. Popping again. Just like isolation of a body part is so difficult. This is just a roll off and synchronization. It looks so cool when you see it on stage. I'm not putting it off, but like when you break it down, that's all it is. Oh, I love this one too. Yes, you should watch the entire choreo for this one. I love speed, they're so creative. They're on like really things and oh man, so good. I think the only other similar thing that I've seen done like this, apart from like ice skating, is um, NCTU's, or no, NCT Dreams, is it Bubblegum? The one where they're on the hoverboards. I hate this dance so much. They look like birds. Again. A large group of people doing something entirely insane. It's terrifying. There it is! Oh no, it's chewing gum. Oh man, I'm terrified of these things. But they do so well. This had to have taken one, a lot of money to buy all of those. Two, just a lot of practice to get that down. That is cool. I don't know how to do that yet. Again, anything that's like isolation. And synchronization. Strength. Such strength. Okay, that's the end. Okay, so that was my reaction slash opinions about some of the best K-pop dances in boy group. Again, if you want me to do a girl group, let me know. Also, I hope I didn't offend anybody because I really like watching these dances, especially Speed. They got so little recognition for the amazing, incredible, innovative ideas that they had choreography wise and songwriting wise and just like the whole thing. They were so good and they were under promoted. And nobody paid attention to them and it was partly their company's fault and partly the audience's fault, but I really wish they got more recognition and they didn't have to break up. I hope they come back underneath a different name and a different company because what they had was amazing. So that's my two cents. <laughs> I will see you guys next week.